Looking clean. In Mommy Mondays, today Karen Sullivan from prettywellness.com reminds us how important it is to watch what we're feeding our kids. I mean, it can't always be pizza and chicken nuggets, can it? Right. <laughs> right. We wish. But what we've done yes. is we've come up with a number of tips to make clean eating or healthy eating easy for the kids or okay. easy for the parents to help motivate the kids. Now you have a seven-year-old right at home I how, do. and he likes to he eats clean? He does and you know again it starts from us it's right. being role models or at least talking the talk with them to make them even think twice about it. Mm -hmm. Alright well where do we start? So we'll start here. So what I like to say is, like I said, you talk the talk, you make your kids a part of the process. Mm -hmm. So here you will see, last night I had my son, Kyle, put together a list and I said, Kyle, what healthy items do you want me to buy at the grocery store? Okay. So you can do this at home, you There's can go quite on Pifa. a few. He likes it. kale and beets? He does. No kidding. He does. You make kale chips, they're really good. Oh, that's true. Sometimes I'll have him, now that he's older, I'll have him in the car mm -hmm. and he'll write the list and then we'll go in together. Or when he was little, he used to draw pictures. So oh, if you've got cute. young kids, if you've got older kids, you can just ask them what would you like to eat. The other thing I do, and mm -hmm. this has worked out so well, is you see here's my phone, which right. also for many of us doubles as a camera. Right. Have them come to the grocery store with you and say, take some pictures. If you've got a few kids, take some pictures of the healthy foods and see what they come up with. Okay. You know, they have fun with it. And again, they feel like they're a part of it. And like, oh, look, I got this great picture of these strawberries. And then they're going to want to eat them, right? When right. they come home, that makes sense. Well, my son put his little Ninjago Lego, Lego figure next to some figs. <laughs> and I was like, well, we have to buy them. You have to get them now. So, oh, that's great. And again, you know, whatever their age might be, if you would like to cook and you're cooking, there's plenty of cookbooks out there to come up with healthy items. Very good. The, the second thing that I like to suggest is to actually like make it pretty or mm -hmm. make it cute. Depending on the age you see up here, look at that little teddy bear. It's got sun butter because my Aww. son has got the nut allergies. It, it, you know, you could use peanut butter, you could use almond butter. It's got blueberries and bananas. Perfect. Fantastic. Next to it could be a sandwich, which is just a piece, a piece of bread that I use. These cookie cutters, cookie cutters are just brilliant to make anything pretty really <laughs> easily. I use the star, I put some cream cheese, you could put hummus, and then put carrots and tomatoes. And then look at the little fruit. X's and the O's. X's and adorable. O's for Valentine's Day. It's great. For the older kids, I say, you know, make it sophisticated or make mm -hmm. it fun. Use a wine glass, put water ah. and strawberries. Use a, that was my wedding china. Oh, and I put so in it blueberries, strawberries, or some watermelon in the bottom. Like, it, again, it makes it a little bit more sure, fun Kyle for them. Kyle appreciates it. Oh, yeah. We're just <laughs> careful that he doesn't <laughs> break careful. it, right? <laughs> All right. So the next is, is we know that there's plenty of reluctant eaters there. And so I know I wish that every kid would want to eat kale and carrots, but the truth and is. And smoothies, green smoothies. And green <laughs> smoothies. But the truth is, is you may have to mask it a little. Okay. So, you know, start with taking, I love hummus. It's, it's my favorite. Carrots. Um, Cucumbers, oh, there it flips, and you can dip it in. There's hummus, there's um, all sorts of different balsamic flavors. Mm -hmm. The light oil here is a green apple oil. You dip oh. it in a cucumber and it tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Wow. And so my That'll friend's four year old sits there and eats cucumbers and that oil half the day. Great. So it really is a way to get them to start understanding the texture of the vegetables and perhaps liking it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is, is, okay, I know this seems like it's cheating, but if you've got Danimals, or this is the smoothie that from Trader Joe's or Stony Field Farms makes mm -hmm. one too, is take your green smoothie, shake it up, put it inside here. Uh oh, is that a little deceiving? Right? <laughs> it is totally deceiving. <laughs> but again, the goal is to get them to try it a right. few times, and then hopefully they'll like it. And again, that works with the little kids, may not work with the big kids, but the oil and balsamic vinegar, um, you know, tasting with the fruits and the vegetables yeah. might work. I mean, it's great to introduce them to different flavors too, oh, like exactly. that, right? Exactly. And years ago, what got me into this kind of deceptive, uh, you know, trial here is, is the books by Jessica Seinfeld. I mean, they're several years old now, but it was where I first realized that I could make baked goods, I could make meatballs, mm -hmm. mac and cheese, and I could add you know, Brussels sprouts, which is a little bit of bitter. However, you could do cauliflower, which is mild. Wow, or and you're getting the veggies. You're getting, getting the veggies realize in it. Right. That's and great. And so the kids are getting the nutrients. And then once they've tasted, you can say, oh, you've had Brussels sprouts, you've mm -hmm. had carrots. And so, so it really has been a way to introduce it to those kids that are reluctant. There you go. And the last thing to do is make it fun. Sure, make a so game out of it. Make right? a game out of it. So I've got a dice here. You know, you could roll it and say, okay, you've got one. Teresa, I want you to take one bite of a carrot. Ah, or whoever's, at, you know, your sure. child or the adults. And, you know, eat the rainbow is something that I know a lot of my friends with young kids do. Mm -hmm. Or even my, um, my friends that have teens, yeah. they make it 
make it a social media outing where let's try one new food. Hashtag one new food. There you go. And pick it out and, and try it all week in different ways. I love it. Lots of great ideas so, here, thank Karen. You. Thank you. Uh, thank your you. website? Prettywellness.com. We've Very got good. all sorts of tips and some recipes too. We'll check it out. Thanks for being thank here. Thank you. Right.